It might be the last place you'd think of finding drugs while in custody at a local jail. But News 5's Colette Bordelon says it might be more common than you think. It can come from fellow inmates, visitors, and even staff. But one woman who's been to a handful of correctional facilities throughout her life reached out to us, saying she saw the most drugs in one county jail, surprisingly in the prison capital of Colorado. My daughter is eight and my son is two. LK Carmack is a mom. I was still using and they put me in this 90 day program. And she says she's now in recovery, following a program at the Fremont County Jail. My life got changed and I'm happy and I would like to see more people get their get their happiness back. Even though she says she's grateful for the jail based treatment. Fremont County is covered with drugs. She says she saw more drugs in that county jail than on the streets. Every day that someone new came in, there was more and more drugs being brought in. Carmax has her friend recently overdosed while at Fremont County Jail. It's a constant thing in Fremont County of people ODN having to go to the hospital because these cops are just not doing their job. Sheriff Allen Cooper says four people were charged with introducing contraband and two inmates did overdose. It's going to be a problem here because there's a piece of technology that we do not have. What's missing? A body scanner, essentially what you would see in an airport. Other than physically having them remove their clothes, open their mouth, uh, look at the soles of their feet, things like that. That would be the extent of what we currently have available. He says they have three times the number of staff in the detention facility versus on patrol, but he would prefer to have the scanner as well. But it's just too expensive for the machine itself and the training it requires, not to mention finding space for it in the jail. Grants, uh, those are always beneficial. Uh, cost savings within this facility, if there's a way that I can find it in-house, then that would be my preference. Call. The El Paso County Jail says they've had technology like this for a few years now, but just bought a new machine called a Secure Pass two years ago. We stay behind the yellow line, they step up on the scanner, uh, they remain motionless, and the, the, the scanner actually moves and then takes kind of a picture of your insides. El Paso County says they have anywhere from 1,400 to 1,700 inmates on any given day. Occasionally, items get past us, they get into the jail. It's what they do. We spoke with a representative from the U.S. Department of Justice who says a report about mortality in local jails from 2000 to 2014, the most recent data, shows the death rate for drug or alcohol intoxication among inmates increased from 2013 to 2014. We should care about them. In Pueblo County, the sheriff's office says they're always kept on their toes. It happens all the time. They also have a body scanner, but say they're looking into new methods as well take samples of whatever chemical is on something and then it tells you what the chemical is and we're utilizing that with our mail. Captain Shelley Bryant says working on relationships with inmates can help. We're getting better on detecting it but it's it's never going to be a fail safe. There's there's always going to be something that, that gets in. It's something Carmack says can determine how someone lives once out of jail. Oh, people are building up this tolerance for it while they're incarcerated. She says it feeds a cycle many people hope to fix when they do find themselves in jail. Those with the El Paso County Jail say since inmates at a jail aren't usually there that long, they hope to set them up with programs once they leave the jail to try to get clean. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Colette Bordelon, News 5.